Hey there, if you are looking to set up your web website in WordPress but can't really decide between Elementor, Page Builder or Divi the theme, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to show you the difference and similarities between these two themes or page builders and how you can decide the right option for you. So let's get into it. Hello, hello. In this video, we are going to be looking at uh, the difference between the Divi Builder and Elementor. So Divi is basically a theme. Elementor is a plugin. So it's a page builder. That's kind of the basic difference. Also, the one important thing to note is that Divi is a paid theme. So you don't get you know, free version of Divi, but Elementor, since it's a page builder, it of they offer a free plan. And the website I'm going to show you today that's built with Elementor, it's actually built on the free Elementor plan. So everything that I've created using Elementor on that website is on the free plan. And this website, which is an older website, uh, is built on Divi. So as you can see, this is the home page. This is built on Divi. And this website, which is a newer website, is built with Elementor. So let's go ahead and look at the differences. So I'm just going to go into the edit option for both the websites. The one really good thing I like about Elementor, and I think this is one reason why Elementor is uh, much more easy uh, to use for beginners, and it does not have as much of a steep learning curve as Divi is that uh, they have the side uh, element dashboard, whereas for Divi, as you'll see, you just have these uh, things that you can edit right so i mean if you're a newbie this might kind of not seem as intuitive as elementor so that is one big thing i really like about elementor uh, the second thing is uh, again in terms of the elements itself the pro version of elementor has many more uh, element types that divi does not have such as animated headlines there is a facebook comments uh, facebook button facebook em embed facebook comments so all facebook related uh, elements and then the share social share button so all of these are not included in in divi although divi has uh, a paid plan right from the get-go right so divi is uh it's i think around 59 dollars a year right now uh elementor starts at 49 49 dollars per site per year divi actually could be even more expensive let's look at divi pricing so if you look at divi Okay, it's $89 per year uh, and yeah, it has unlimited website usage, but Elementor, as I recently looked at the pricing, it's $49 a year for one site. So, I mean, if you are just creating a site for yourself and want to DIY it, Elementor is a great option. Also, if you do go for the pro version for Elementor, you can actually customize your header and footer with Elementor, which is a big thing uh, so that you know you don't need to use WordPress uh, menus and plugins uh, widgets to do this. You can actually do it within Elementor itself. So that's another thing in terms of creating the sections, I think it is pretty, uh, you know, like both are pretty intuitive. I've used both, like I mentioned, and I found that both are kind of intuitive. So this is like a drag and drop uh, option where I can, you know, drag elements and drop them here. And this is just a little slow. So like you can see, I just added a heading text. Uh, you can... Uh, Hold it, you can make it center, you have the style option and the advanced option. So you may you can customize this a lot. Uh, and margins, padding, all of those things. For Divi, it's uh almost the same thing. So 
if you've used uh, something like click funnels or lead pages before divi is kind of similar to those although again click funnels does have a um, side dashboard but for divi you just click on this uh, choose the kind of section you want and then choose how many columns you want and then you can add different elements from here which are called modules so in terms of building out the pages it is very similar but i would also say that you know if you're just starting out uh, if you have no experience with either i would highly suggest to go with elementor because like i said they have a free plan so you can get kind of like a taste of how it works and also the uh, the free plan is good enough like this website is built on the free plan and the other thing is uh, they have the side dashboard so it kind of becomes really easy to see uh, what sections they have and what you can drag and drop so um that's it if you are interested in building out your website and looking for a diy option check out my website in a week mini course training you can find the link below and i hope to see you in there so if you're looking to build your website in a week go ahead and check out the course thank you and i will see you in the next video